Brooklyn was born and raised on a farm in Langley, BC. She is a radio host on 93.7 JRFM and BCIT radio grad. Connecting with Vancouverites who love music as much as she does is an absolute dream job, and you can find her on air on the weekends. For her, music makes this sweet, complex life so lovable. Her hair changes more than her moods and just trust that it's often. If she's not trying to make you laugh, she's the one laughing. A little too loud and a little off timing. You can usually find her in a yoga studio, a thrift store, or with a glass of wine. Life is better when it's bubbly. Glow Radio is a podcast for sassy entrepreneurs who are in the process of quitting their much-hated day job to work for themselves full-time. You can expect weekly conversations with unapologetic creatives, business owners, and influencers. We discuss tips on how to reach your goals, manage your time, and keep your sanity while being a major boss babe. We are Jacqueline and Clara, your favorite hype women who will cheer you on and push you to create the life that you want. We're business strategists, career and life mentors, and wellness advocates. Hit that subscribe button and follow us on IG at Glow Radio Co. Stay sassy, babes! Before we get started, we wanted to thank Bluehost for partnering with us. We're so happy to use the best hosting service that doesn't break our bank. Bluehost powers over 2 million websites, including ours. They offer 24-7 support, a money-back guarantee, and is the number one recommended web hosting by WordPress.org. If you're an entrepreneur building or revamping your website, we highly recommend Bluehost as a trusted resource. Sign up for your website hosting today at www.bluehost.com forward slash track forward slash woe glow. That's W-H-O-A-G-L-O-W. Hello. (laughs) Hello. Welcome to another episode. (laughs) We are so excited to have Brooklyn here. Ah! I'm that pe- I'm that person where people look at me and they're like, you listen to country? And I'm like, I listen to country. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I've been to the shows. I've seen trucks come up with flames. Like, really? I'm, oh yeah, my the Luke God. Bryan concert. Everyone raves about that one. I didn't get to go to that one. Was it really <laughs> really? Okay, it was like dark. And all of a sudden you just hear like, I think it was like, um, I forgot what that did. Dan, 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 it, 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 it. What's time? Oh, uh, kick the dust up. Kick the dust up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he comes up. He's standing on his truck, and then all you see are like flames, and then uh, you're like <laughs> oh screaming God. your head off. All I hear about the is the flaming truck. And when I saw him. I don't know, November, I'm sorry, Luke, it wasn't that good. Like, it was okay, but I didn't get any cool effects, no oh truck, and his big costume change no. was like, went from a pink shirt to a green shirt, yeah. right? And I was like, damn it. Because I think he he changed his, like, party guy thing yeah. to, like, true l- l- dad lover. Dad lover. <laughs> Mean something different. I don't know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> love that. Um, <laughs> I hope he doesn't hear this one day. Sorry, yeah. baby. Hopefully not. <laughs> Dad lovers. <Okay. laughs> so our first question is, how did you become a radio host? Tell us about your journey. Yeah, so I went to BCIT in Burnaby right after high school when I was 18. Mm-hmm. And I actually applied to their online broadcast journalism program. And I didn't get in. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I don't know why. I think they said that I was too young and they want someone with like a little bit more life experience. Like maybe one year of Mm post-secondary because it's journalism. And I was like, fair enough. So I never really thought about getting into radio. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I watched a lot of like MTV and Much Music as Uh a kid. So I wanted to be that VJ growing up. Like that's exactly what I wanted to do, (laughs) which I'm pretty sure the job's extinct now. So rest (laughs) in peace. 
<laughs> um, and so I was freaking out. I was like graduating high school in six weeks. And my dad's like, you need to go to school. Like, okay. what's your backup? And so they told me that I can still enroll in the radio program. And there is still a little bit of television elements, which there are. So I applied and then I got in like a week later. And so I am so happy I do radio now. Oh, wow. I've done a little bit of TV, but I truly love radio. I was mm-hmm. shocked that I loved it as much as I did. And I think that's like the universe telling me a sign. That yeah, like, yeah. This yeah. was meant more for me. So, yeah, I um, graduated from BCIT Radio 2015. And then I had been working on a street team for Z95.3 for two years throughout college. Mm -hmm. Took a year off in between my first radio job and BCIT. And I worked at like Lululemon and I just did marketing. Mm -hmm. And I I was a little hesitant to move to a smaller market because they say for radio you have to do that. I can hear a cat. No, that's okay. (laughs) (laughs) Um, No, that's totally fine. But I just was like, you know what? No, like radio makes me so happy. Yeah. I never have any questions when I'm there. Like sometimes you have a job and you're like, yeah, I like it, but I don't love it. Mm-hmm. But I, I love what I do. So I moved to Kelowna for a year and a half and worked at a radio station, learned a lot of stuff, and then was lucky to get a job at JR Country here in Vancouver. And I'm from the Lower Mainland too. Yeah. So I was like, oh my God, amazing. Like, <laughs> love Vancouver love the station. I love it so much. So yeah, yeah. Awesome. It, I haven't been doing it for a crazy, um, a long amount of time or anything, but I love doing it. So yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. Would you say that the radio industry, I guess, is really competitive? Like, did you have to like claw your way through? <laughs> <laughs> um, it can be. I think being a good person pays off a lot in the long run. They tell you like the first thing, you know, if you get want to get into this to make money like you should probably drop out of the program because it's not you're not going to be a millionaire in your first year right Mm -hmm. you think of media and you think people are really wealthy but it's a lot of climbing the ladder for the first (laughs) feel probably a decade let's Mm -hmm. be real yeah depending everyone's journey is different so that makes like half your grad class drop out of the industry after you graduate because not everyone depending the age you graduate or whatever, wants to do that. Mm. I don't know. It it can be super competitive. It's super talent-based, but it's also who you know. Mm. I think a lot of media is who you know, if you're a good person, if you're willing to work hard, and sometimes for not great money. And those people usually persevere, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. So if you have a really bad ego, then you probably wouldn't last very long. So if you're constantly competing with everybody else, other than just thinking like we're all in this together, you know, you could be working with someone else, down the road in another company, in another city, right? You have mm-hmm. to keep those connections, right? So yeah. it, for me, I try not to get in the mind space of c- competing, especially with other girls in the industry because we already compete so much yeah. in every other aspect. Yeah. For me, I'm like, ew, I don't yeah. want to. Like, <laughs> yeah, not totally. interested. So, yeah. So what are some of your responsibilities like as a radio host? Oh, responsibilities. Um, <laughs> or like, what's your day to day? Make sure and... I keep. Make sure I have the auto button on, and that we don't have any dead air. I think that's responsibility number one. Okay. Um, I mean, that's an interesting question. I think making sure that you have an engaging prepped show is mm-hmm. one, and you're constantly paying attention to what's going on in the world. Like, mm-hmm. um, I do work part time at the moment. But during the busier months ahead, like I I can cover anything from mornings to evenings. Like I'm really lucky that way. Mm -hmm. So by the end of the week, though, usually by my Saturday or Sunday show, it's like, you know, so much has already gone on that it's you just need to make sure that you're constantly staying up to date and you're keeping it local and you're engaging with listeners and you're just trying to have fun, really. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, maybe run social media for the radio station to be active on Facebook or Instagram and try and do a blog for the website or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty lax job. Once you nail that after a few years, then you're just trying to have the best show you possibly can. How, How do you usually stay up to date with news and stuff like that? Social media is a big thing. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know many other 20-somethings that aren't on their phone all the time. So for me, at least I don't have to feel guilty about it. Like, yeah. I, And I try to detox from my phone as much as possible. But, like, like if I didn't have to post to the radio station's Facebook, I'd probably delete my Facebook account. Because I don't yeah. know about you guys. Yeah, I just yeah. don't really use it that much yeah. anymore. No, I'm over it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, Instagram is where it's at. 
Yeah. Um, but definitely, yeah, word of mouth, social media, like, it's hard not to pay attention to the news, especially with, like, all the stuff that's going on all the time. Yeah. Um, and also, like, we just have, like, prep sites that we can use as well. Or I try and, like, talk about things that actually happen to me, right? Like, mm -hmm. I was selling a sweater on facebook marketplace and a guy was hitting on me and like okay. wanted to go on a date and like i have a boyfriend right and i'm yeah, like yeah. really buddy like facebook marketplace <laughs> <laughs> like really and so like i'll talk about that or okay. the other day like we were talking about something so simple like mix matched socks like do you wear socks that don't match do you leave the house like i saw a meme about it and i ran with it as a bit uh -huh. and i was like it's my personal pet peeve like i don't care if you wear mix match socks yeah, but like yeah. i can't leave the house if one's green and one's blue like yeah. not if my outfit's put together at least. yeah <laughs> and people were raging we got like over a thousand comments in 12 Seriously? hours on oh facebook God. which is oh like God. kind of unheard of right yeah, now yeah. and people were calling in and texting and they weren't all mad like they were just like Everyone had something to say okay, because yeah. most people have socks, so they have an opinion. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. one person told me I'm what's wrong with the world because <laughs> oh some people God. can't afford new socks. And I'm like, I didn't even think about that, <laughs> right? Like, not even going there. No, I wasn't even going there. I was yeah. just like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> so you can always kind of draw inspiration from an aspect of your life, right? Yeah. 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 It's fun. Yeah, that's Would you funny. say you get to really just talk about whatever you want on the show? Or is there kind of more guidelines that you have to follow? It's, there's no guidelines. I mean, you can't swear, obviously. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, and obviously, like, no hate speech or anything like yeah, that. That's yeah. kind of the obvious. I think it's about saying as much as you can in a little amount of time. I mean... I'm not a program director and I don't like manage other talent. Mm -hmm. So because mm -hmm. I'm still newer to the game, I still get what we call an air check every week or two weeks where, mm -hmm. you know, your boss like will give you a call or an email or sit you down and like listen to your stuff in front yeah, of you and yeah. then give you feedback, which okay. is always a bit nerve wracking. <laughs> that does sound um, nerve wracking. But keep it local, you know, things that are going on, events like the sun run just happened, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there was like a major hailstorm and here in Vancouver, weather is actually, like, a topic because yeah. it's so yeah, sporadic yeah. and changes. Like, um, so, yeah, keep it local. Country music, obviously, and talking yeah. about yes. music and shows. We do a lot of contests. And then things, like, every radio station has, like, a different demographic, right? Mm. So our demographic is, is, in a way, like, pretty broad because country music can span over so many different age groups like mm -hmm. there's traditional country music and like people that might be our parents age yeah, or a little bit yeah. older we have like a lot of um younger people that like love the luke bryan and the sam hunt and the Marin yeah. morris who like call in all yeah. the time so yeah it's a bit more family oriented i can't talk about the same things as maybe like a rock station and mm. I would never bring up someone like the Kardashians yeah, because I know yeah. our audience would be like mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I mean yeah. I try and just talk to someone as if I know them kind of okay. and yeah. what, what I think would appeal to me and maybe people 10 to 15 years older maybe with families and I just try and keep it local it's always safe to do that right yeah. so yeah if you're enjoying this episode so far please comment glow up on YouTube and leave us a review on iTunes give us five stars or we will find you we will so what are some of your favorite parts of being a radio host well it doesn't feel like work mm -hmm. um, I really enjoy connecting with people you know, it's so funny. I hated working retail when I was younger, but I loved customer service, ironically. Okay. Like, I didn't want to go in full clothing all day and, yeah. and yeah, changing yeah. rooms. Like, that was, to me, was so mundane. But I loved talking to people and figuring out people's solutions. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, it's not so much people have problems and they call us for solutions, but I'm able to talk to somebody one-on-one, -on -one, whether they're just you know, saying love the music or venting or asking about mm -hmm. a traffic situation or, you know, they have a really great story if we're doing a segment about, I don't know, yeah. the mix match socks. Like mm -hmm. people were calling in and just telling me a little bit about their life. And I think that's really cool that I get to yeah. connect to people and that they're listening to you. Um, I love working in country, which was a surprise to me because I grew up listening to country, but I wasn't a diehard country fan. Okay. And I, yeah always admitted that when I got the job I yeah. told them like just so you know I'm pretty new to this genre so yeah. give me a minute I like to think I transitioned easy enough pretty quick because mm -hmm. I I actually grew up on a farm ironically uh -huh. but and so country music was always around me but I always like I loved pop music and I loved rock music mm -hmm. so when I worked in country I was a little bit nervous but mm -hmm. oh my gosh country listeners are fantastic they love 
their radio, they love their music, and they're so loyal to us as jocks and personalities, and they actually text you and call you and engage, so I love that. That makes you, that just makes you feel good, and I I love sparking a conversation, so as much as I got into radio because I love music, I also, I think, you know, connecting with people one-on-one is like the best thing ever, so, yeah. Yeah. You don't feel like you're just talking to yourself, because sometimes... You know, my shows are six hours long, and you think, like, is this thing on? Is anybody listening? It's like, you don't know, right? You can't see. You're basically talking into this, and Mm -hmm. you don't know how many people are listening to you. But when you get a text or when you get a call, it's like, best feeling ever. (laughs) Someone other than my mom is listening (laughs) today. (laughs) Do people usually call and text, like, whenever they want? Yeah. I'm always, like... I want to call sometimes. I'm yeah. like, I just want to say hi. Of like, oh my God, hey, please do. 280 is our phone number, or you can text 93777. Um, yeah, of course, I mean, maybe not at like one in the morning. I don't know if you're going to apply, but yeah, yeah, of course, you can text in any time. Of course. Oh. Of course. Yeah, totally. Yeah. If you If we had a good conversation and, you, you know, you're audible, like, it's not fuzzy or you don't have a croaky voice like it's um I you know when it's interesting like I'll totally air it you know if I can make that kind of spin that into a topic then I'll totally air it or if it's just you saying like oh I love the station or can I hear this like it's a request then yeah I'll totally air it right Mm -hmm. I want as many phone calls as possible yeah I want it to to be engaging so okay yeah it is kind of cool and then with texting like you know if I ask hey who's this what's your name or whatever like let's say you text me saying like can I hear Lou Bryan, for mm-hmm. example? Yeah. And I'd be mm-hmm. like, yeah, sure, what's your name? I'll, I'll add your name in, and the next yeah. time you text me, I'll have your name, and then I can yeah. just text you oh, by your name. Okay. Oh, right? cool. cool. Yeah, it is cool, right? Now I feel more confident. <laughs> <to> <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Because I'm always like, they're not going to pick up. Like, why no, do we I, will. Why we do totally I try? totally will, yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. Because I feel like whenever there's those contests on the radio, yeah. I feel like a million people call well, in. Well, they do. Contests are so different, yeah. though, right? It's harder to probably get through and we yeah. only have a certain amount of phone lines so if you're like if i'm looking for caller eight just throwing that out there yeah we only have five or six phone lines okay. then you know i kind of gotta go through all of them mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. but yeah like if i if we don't really have a contest chances are your phones your call is gonna get through okay so definitely call yeah oh my god call me please <laughs> i want to talk yay so fun we'll call we'll set yeah, up the whole we'll yeah <laughs> totally do it <laughs> So what would you say are the most challenging parts of your job? Hmm. I think right now working weekends can be difficult because you, like, sometimes when the months are a little bit slower, so, mm-hmm. like, you know, your coworkers aren't going on vacay or mm-hmm. booking time off, so yeah. they're not covering, to get back into the groove when you've had, like, four or five days off and just, like, put it back mm-hmm. on. Yeah. That first hour can sometimes sound a little bit rough because yeah. you're just not used to it. That's a current, like, struggle I have. It's a small struggle, but mm-hmm. it's, like, definitely there, like any part-time job. Yeah, totally. Um, otherwise, I guess just trying to always be better mm. and to be consistently better. Like, you're always going to have a bad show. Like, I might have one not-so-great show a month where... Maybe you as the listener wouldn't really think twice about it. Like, you wouldn't yeah. think it's, like, the best thing you've ever heard, but you mm-hmm. wouldn't think twice about it. But for me, I'm like, oh, my energy is so low, and I just didn't feel very creative today, and I kept it really basic. So to me, I might I might beat myself up over that because mm. I want to consistently be getting better, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that can be the downfall when it okay. comes to a talent or a creative-based career. It can be... You fluctuate. Yeah. You yeah. definitely fluctuate and you'll yeah. have good days and bad days. So it's totally it's important to just kinda shake it off. T Swift <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so when you do have those bad days, how would you I guess go get over it? Like what how would you kind of find inspiration again and Ooh, good one. I try and just like crank the music to be honest with you. Mm, yeah. And kinda get in that head zone and leave whatever I'm feeling at the door yeah. and maybe have a cup of coffee and I don't know, just kind of suck it up and, and go through yeah. with it and, and try and find a good topic. And if someone, if I get a really good phone call, that can really 
changed my mood. Yeah. Not that I rely on phone calls to yeah. have a good show or anything, like a, you know, like a good experience mm-hmm. with a listener, but yeah. that can really change my mood. Or if mm-hmm. we're doing a contest and somebody wins a lot of money, I, yeah, yeah. I get really excited for them. And then, yeah. yeah you know. So yeah, it, yeah. It's, again, it doesn't happen often. It's not like I come in and there's like a rain cloud over me. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. sometimes you've got a lot going on in your head and you kind of mm-hmm. just have to like breathe for a little bit and get back into it. And yeah. I think every... Everybody in media or radio would have a different experience, right? But that just works for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what do you do other than being a radio host? Like, what what are your other days filled with? Nap. <laughs> <laughs> Eat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I try and do yoga, but I can't say I'm, like, some Vancouverite yogi like I want to mm-hmm. be, but I been there done that worn yeah. little lemon pants like, <laughs> yeah i go a few times a week if i can i've been doing a decent amount of traveling recently so that's Ooh, been kind nice. of nice like and nothing even crazy big just came back from calgary like just did little trips to like vancouver or sorry not, i live in vancouver <laughs> um whistler okay, Kelowna, yeah. and now i'm going to new york in three weeks Ooh, so i'm pretty chast nice. on that that's i've nice. never been in new york that's so exciting Lately, I've just been, like, planning for the trips, really. And, yeah. yeah. And, yeah, I'm trying to decorate my apartment on a budget, you know? <laughs> and I kind of want to start a blog, so I've been thinking about that. Another thing I do that I do too much of is thrift shop. Ooh. Love thrift I shopping. Love yeah, thrifting. we love, love it. <laughs> All about that secondhand style. Yeah. I'm thrifting. obsessed. Yeah. Would love that. Yes. I, I, I love thrift shopping. Like, yeah. I do. It, to me, it's, like, a creative outlet to go in to what seems like a bunch of junk and yeah, come out. Yeah. Like, I thrift thrifted this blazer and it was like brand new and I'm pretty jazzed on it because I feel like if you got it at H&M it would be like 75 bucks or something yeah definitely and I got it for 20 bucks and it's still got the tags on so and that was a value village too yeah that's amazing which one do you go to because our local one in Richmond is trash really yeah Yeah. it's it's a hit or miss yeah I feel like most are yeah um when I do go to Valley Village I just go to the one in Port Moody where I live and that one has been really good. Like, I'm okay, shocked. We have to go there. Yeah. Um, Mintage on commercial is a good one. Ooh, ooh I haven't been um, there yet. There was one on Granville Street. I forget the name. It was like House of Vintage or something like that. Oh, I think mm. I've heard of that. Yeah. yeah it's upstairs. Yeah, with the, like, the yeah. zebra okay, print yeah, stairs. Yeah. And yeah. it was cool. Um, yeah. I just kind of go to like different consignment stores. And, okay. But Value Village is always pretty reliable so yeah yeah port moody one's pretty good you should come out and we'll all go yeah <laughs> definitely we'll we're setting a up a thrifting date yeah, for sure we'll make a there trip. you go 100 <laughs> nice um so what advice do you have for someone who wants to be a radio host i don't even know if i'm at the part of my career where i can give advice yet um of course you can you totally can um, you here you made it <laughs> you made it Aww. Knock on wood. <laughs> you made it. You made it. <laughs> um, advice if you wanted to get into radio. Definitely do your research on where you're going to school. I really liked BCIT. Can't vouch for any others, but BCIT has a really good success rate, at least for people who live in Vancouver and surrounding areas. Like, you know, really high employment rate when you graduate. Mm-hmm. Um, so definitely go to radio school. Like, there are some people that get into it that just went into communications or marketing or something, mm-hmm, yeah. but radio school, and I, again, BCIT was a great experience. It's two years. It's hands-on. You yeah. get to run the radio station at school, so oh, definitely it's so two-year fun. program, full-time, yeah, yeah. And, and you get to learn an array of different topics, like marketing to broadcast law to, uh, like, documentary class, right? Yeah. So it was definitely really cool. Um, internships. Just be willing to do everything and Mm -hmm. know that um, at one point, if you do go to a program and you're taking radio seriously, you probably will have to move to a smaller market. Sometimes that means going to the middle of freaking nowhere. (laughs) I've had girlfriends that went to like Lloyd Minster or they went to Smithers, which like they were pretty towns, but like they're far from home, right? Oh my gosh. And they're really small towns, but they they all had really great experiences because you get to like immerse yourself into like a small town vibe where everybody helps out everybody Mm -hmm. and the radio station you wear so many hats so you know you're doing so many jobs and you're learning super fast so just be willing to do 
everything, you mm-hmm. know? And a lot of people go into school thinking they're going to want to do one thing and they come out really loving production, but they thought they were going to be on air. But yeah. they realize, oh, maybe I don't like on air. Maybe I like copywriting, you know? Okay. So just be willing to try it all yeah. and know that you're probably not going to be making a lot of money for the first few yeah. years. And that's okay too mm-hmm. because it's worth it. And you just kind of have to tough it out because the people that I think – tough it out the most and work the hardest even if it's you know working long shifts or saying yes to I don't know anything thrown their way emceeing yeah. this or volunteering here like those are usually the people that have the most longevity in the mm-hmm. business mm-hmm. and at least that's what I understand from yeah. people yeah. that have been doing this for 30 years and I ask right I mean mm-hmm. they've all taken one for the team and yeah, yeah. and so yeah and it will be your boyfriend radio will be your boyfriend or your girlfriend <laughs> And you just got to love it the yeah. way it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> um, what is one of your biggest fears and how do you manage it? In life or in radio or broadcasting? Because I can go on all day. <laughs> I mean, both, I would say. Tell us one of each. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. I'm curious. How much time you got? No, um, <laughs> we got time. <laughs> I think in radio, my fear is getting fired. Okay. It happens, mm-hmm. definitely, in, in different companies and different markets. Like, you know, it's not always the most um, secure mm. business. I'm lucky that I haven't ran into that yet, but I do have friends that have been let go. And, yeah, that's my biggest fear. Um, and then, and how do I manage it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how just to manage it. Just be better. That. Yeah, just, yeah, be just better. like, pray, I yeah. guess. <laughs> and do my best yeah um and my fear I don't know I think you know it's so funny like at the end of the day like not being successful is my biggest fear Mm -hmm. you know I I don't wish for an average life yeah and that that doesn't mean like I'm above anybody or anything I just I have high goals and Mm -hmm. I want you know to live them and I get nervous that I won't accomplish them and I think Especially being online a lot. Like, you're constantly comparing yourself to everybody totally. else. Mm-hmm. And you know, I'm turning 24. By no means am I old by any means. Like, everyone mm-hmm. always says, oh, you're only 23. You have time. And to me, I'm like, but I'm thinking like I'm 33, right? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, always, yeah. you know, I don't want to just sit around and do nothing. Like, yeah, just because yeah. you're young doesn't mean you should, shouldn't be, like, attaining anything. Yeah, no. But at the same time, you do have to, like, give yourself a break and go, okay, like, you have, you know, trust the timing of your life, right? Yeah. You can't do everything all at once. That's not how it's going to work. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't remember what the question was. I literally, I went over <laughs> but that's what I do. Yeah, yeah. We like those. We, we do like those. Here. <laughs> we do that a lot here. Okay, good. <laughs> no, I feel like that's very relatable for us. Yeah, like, we right? constantly talk about this, about how mm-hmm. I don't want to be on my deathbed and, like, regretting things that I didn't yeah. do in life. That's, like, yeah. a constant thought in my Yeah, everyday. and then, and then, but then you hold yourself back from doing it at the same yeah. time, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like, the fear of failure, I, that 100% is my fear. Yeah. yeah. It really, really is. So, yeah. And I don't like spiders. You know what I mean? Like, you know, and I yeah, hate that's the fair. dark. So you how know? do you manage it? <laughs> the fear of spiders. I don't, know. I don't go to Australia. <laughs> I don't. Like the I hear they're big. Here. Yeah, I hate hate the dark. Like I don't even want to talk about it. Like you're gonna have to walk me to my car. <laughs> so, what are some of your future goals? Future goals. I actually want to create my own podcast. Mm. Um, but I want to co-host because I already am on air on my own, mm-hmm. solo. And that's really fun and I like it. But I I just want to co-host. I want to bounce off mm-hmm. somebody else. Yeah. I want to find a like-minded person who wants to do that with me. Mm-hmm. Not too sure what it would be about. Um, but I'm all about the real talk. So yeah. something definitely that embraces like authenticity and ironic to what I just answered like not feeling like you have to be everything Mm -hmm. like so much of my inner conflict is feeling like I'm not enough but I'm also too much Mm. you ever feel like you're overwhelming somebody around you and and, and maybe (laughs) every day and and maybe you think like maybe that's like not the vibe I should go after right like maybe you're surrounding yourself with the wrong people Mm -hmm. I mean who knows right the list could go on so yeah definitely want to do a podcast might start a blog I want to show people, like, how I go thrifting. By no means am I, like, the best at it. But I I really care about, I don't know, sustainable fashion. Yeah. 
You know, yeah, I like going to H and M and Forever Twenty One and Zara too, but I also yeah. know that like it's not the best for the environment, and mm-hmm. fast fashion is like not that great of a thing. Yeah, and it also rips after like one year. <laughs> yeah, I and know. Yeah, it's not even away. Away. I know. <laughs> I like my boyfriend hates shopping, but when we first started dating, I took him to H and M. I got him a bunch of basics. Yeah, and all of the shirts shrunk, oh, and God. it's not like they were like a certain kind of fabric where you know you don't put into the wash. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. it was a basic. Regular t-shirt, t-shirt. Like, and yeah, it, yeah. They all shrunk, and I'm like, God damn it. Yeah. It's $30, <laughs> but it's fine. You know? It's okay. Um, so, yeah, I, I want to do something kind of like that, and yeah, I guess travel more when I can. Yeah. Yeah. No, we love it. We're all about all living about the that. creative life yeah. here. <laughs> I will watch that thrift. Yeah. Blog. Yeah. I will please. read it every day because I'm please. like, I need tips. Yes. Yeah, you can be like crazy blazers found at this place, and me and Jacqueline like we're coming yeah. on in there we're now. I love it. I, I it's like if you feel so good when you get something, right? Yeah, like, it's like one of a kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, exactly. You get it. You get <laughs> we it. We get it. We get it. <laughs> I'm also very against fast fa- fast fashion too. Yeah, yeah. Like, I can't. I know sweatshops and the idea that like you know they just burn clothing after every season, and yeah. it's just like that's how you get rid of clothes. Like that's so bad for the yeah, environment, no, and like. Good. Yeah, it's not good, right? And I'm guilty. Sometimes I'll get, like, a staple piece from, mm-hmm. like, you know, a, a, a bigger brand. Yeah, but for sure. when it comes to, like, half, like, I'm going to say 70% of my closet now is thrifted. Oh, that's and awesome. not a brag, or it's not trying to come off as a brag, <laughs> but I've donated, like, four or five major garbage yeah. bags of clothing. Yeah. Like, Preach. because yes. I've, I've moved so much and I didn't realize how much stuff I yeah. have accumulated. Mm-hmm. And then I watched Marie Kondo. Oh, yeah. And I was like, that's a spark joy <laughs> in my life. Yeah, yeah. And I got rid of so much stuff. And now I'm kind of like, well, I don't really have anything left. So now I gotta <laughs> yeah, go back to the thrift store. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I read her book, like, when it came out. I think oh, it was yeah. a couple years ago. You were, or a, you were above the trend. That was yeah. early. And mm-hmm. then I got rid of so much stuff. And some of the stuff I actually miss now. Yeah. I'm like, I kind of regret it too because you think like although my thing and it's kind of the same with friends like if you haven't (laughs) worn it in a year or you haven't talked to them in a year you have to reevaluate yeah what that means to you right yeah and so it's so easy to just buy new stuff especially with trends and you go on instagram and everyone has the cutest thing Mm -hmm. and sometimes you try it on and it doesn't even suit you but because everyone else has it you want it and then you've blown like 80 bucks yeah and for me i'm like i'm not doing that anymore like (laughs) I don't have the money. I don't have the time. I don't have the closet <laughs> space. I can't. So I've donated a lot. Yeah. And um, only regret half of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now moving on to the second part of the podcast. Okay. It's a little bit more relaxed now. We're finished with the business questions. Okay. And we want to kind of get to know your personality. I felt like that was so relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> I just, Even more relaxed. I just talked about thrifting for 10 minutes. So it's all good. So, first random question is, okay. what is your favorite way to relax? Hmm. Meditating. I like meditating. I like mm-hmm. using the Headspace app. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, hot yoga. I know that's expensive, so I hate saying I love it because I know not everyone can, like, mm. is about it. But yeah. It, it really does help me. It's like mm-hmm. my therapy. It shuts off my mind. I'm mm-hmm. such an anxious thinker. Yeah. But napping. Like, mm. that is my me oh, time. I think napping. people associate my napping <laughs> with laziness. I am not lazy. No. It's the only way to shut off my brain is to yeah. go to sleep. Yeah. And I always feel so much better after, like, having a nap or having a bath or yeah. just me time. I'm all about my mm-hmm. alone time, yeah, my personal yeah. space. I'm kind of a hermit like that. Mm, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, definitely somewhere like that yeah. in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> How long of a nap do you usually take? Like an hour. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. No, I could nap all day, I guess. <laughs> no, and then I will if I if I do that. Like, if I don't set an alarm, like, I will continue to sleep. Mm, and yeah. then you're up till four in the morning. So, <laughs> no. Yeah, you're no. You're like, the, I just slept for 16 hours. Yeah, <laughs> you right? You wake up, you're like, what time is it? <laughs> yeah. What century am I in? <laughs> but I also, yeah, like, journaling's a good way to do it, too. And yeah. Just trying to spend more time with myself, right? Mm-hmm. Like, that was so, like inspirational yeah. but <laughs> it's true though yeah, no, so yeah. profound yeah like, I meditate, I get to journal. know yourself yeah i'm not a yogi i swear <laughs> i'm not <laughs> so you did mention you love to travel of mm-hmm. course so what would you say are the best places you've traveled to well i'm very new to traveling so 
you know, I, when I was a kid, like, family vacays were always in Mexico. Mm. And then from, like, 10 to 22, like, I didn't leave Vancouver. Like, mm-hmm. just went to school, and I worked really hard in radio, and I'm still working yeah. really hard at radio. But now, I because I have a part-time job, I'm able to kind of, like, you know, jet off for, like, a week, you mm-hmm. know, and yeah. be back in time for my show. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. but last year I was lucky enough to be invited on um, my boyfriend's family's trip to Santorini in Greece. Ooh, and oh my God. that's the furthest oh, I've been, amazing. but I'm not sure it's going to get any better than that. Mm. Like, that was incredible. That's mm-hmm. on our list. That is, it like... Is you are relaxing like you know it's not go 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 like there's beautiful sights to see but like the Mm -hmm. whole island is like you can get a lot done in a day yeah Yeah. and so just going to the beach and having drinks served to you and it's like the Aegean seas right in front of you and it's just the best like it's the life it's the best yeah picture perfect everywhere loved it (laughs) how about you guys have you done a lot of traveling I have um, actually, more on the recent side as well. I'm very torn between Paris or Hawaii because it's like a very yeah. It's, it's like the mood. It's like yeah. I, don't, I don't know what my mood is, but it would they would they would be like top two. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like for me, it's so hard. There's still a lot of places mm-hmm. I want to visit. Yeah, but me I too. feel like. I really enjoyed Thailand. Oh, mm. yeah. Yeah, it was really beautiful there. I also really love L.A. That's, like, such a basic city, but I I've love it. I've never been to L.A. Isn't that weird? I feel it's, like everyone's been to L.A. It, I haven't either. Okay, yeah, we're but in But I'm this. going in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Soon. Oh, yeah. But you need to go. It's super chill. It's kind of like yeah. Vancouver, and I love Hawaii, too, so. Yeah, I haven't been to Hawaii since I was a kid, but I'm dying to You need go. to go back. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, it's, oh, my God. It's so Every photo I see, there. I'm, like, the best sun that's like best beaches yeah. it's like beautiful beautiful oh i want to go back <laughs> yes you will soon <laughs> yeah if you love to relax oh my god you just mm-hmm. go to the beach you just like <sighs> so oh in. check don't yeah. check the emails oh, and, no, yeah. and there's paddleboard yoga really oh you're like because it's not very um you're in shallow water like by the yeah. shore and you pull out your paddle like um there's an instructor and she has like a van full of the paddle boards and you literally go there and she just teaches did you, you do like it? the basics. So like downward dog and like yeah. sun salutation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well she did she did try to do the more intense like Like the headstands? Um, like because the... you couldn't catch me dead doing headstands. <laughs> no, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't I'm not that no. Well she challenged us to balance on one leg and like okay, all that yeah. stuff. Okay, that's okay. And then um what warrior is that? What is it called? The one where you're like literally leaning forward and you're on one. I, oh, Warrior. Oh, uh, yeah. Why? I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. What you're no, doing. it's not. Warrior three. Okay. Warrior <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> I think it's Warrior. War, uh, warrior. <laughs> it's not tree pose, is it? I don't no, know. but you're like not yogi. you're like leaning. <laughs> wow. Forward. Yeah. Like I just do what she tells me yeah, and I don't yeah, retain yeah. it. Yeah. I'm not. A uh, yogi. No, me neither. <laughs> me neither. I go to like the basic yoga classes. Yeah. I'm yeah. not like. Yeah. But we've all we all fell in the water. Like it was okay. just fun. Like, yeah, that yeah, was like, fun. like she encourages you. She's like, I want you to try so hard that you fall. Like yeah, it was fun. Yeah. I will say though, like um, a few years ago, me and my girlfriend we did a road trip to San Francisco, Ooh, and Airbnb good. events is such a good way to like book something for the day or for the night. It's like a decent price yeah. most of the time, and it's fun. We did yoga on the beach on Baker Beach, right beside Ooh. the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. Oh, loved it. Like, Ooh, sunset, yeah. and then they had, it was, like, a group of maybe 40 of us, and, like, you don't have to bring anything except for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and they gave you, like, kombucha, oh, and you have a mat, that. and obviously, like, a towel, and then they give you a headset because you're an instructor, because it's still, like, a loud public yeah. beach. Like, it's a little bit roped off, but not much. Like, you wouldn't go up to it if you weren't a part of it. You, mm-hmm. you, okay. look, you look, and you look at us, and you're like, what are these lunatics <laughs> doing? Yeah. Everyone's because like... <laughs> they well, they can't hear anything, oh, right? So yeah, yeah. you don't need like she's so quiet the way she talks to you. That's why she needs you to have the headphones. Yeah, because like she has a mic attached, yeah. so crazy. nobody else on the beach can hear except for you. Oh. And at, like sometimes she plays like share, and you're like dancing, and you're like I feel kind of weird, but like love it. 
And then other times she was like really zen and yeah, it was okay. really cool. That was a really unique experience. It was one of my favorite things ever. That sounds really yeah. cool. Totally. I need to sign up for. One I've of never those. been to San Fran, so I'm just like, yeah. I wish I went for longer. I went for two days, and it was not enough. Oh yeah, that's so short. I feel, it was it's such short. A far drive for only two days. <laughs> well, we hit up a bunch of different towns on the okay. way to San yeah, Fran. Yeah. So yeah, I would I would admit that that would be too short. Yeah, but we did some other stuff along the way, like Cannon Beach. And, oh, you okay. know, yeah, okay. it was cool. We'll go back. You'll go back. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> hope so. The so last random question we have for you is about astrology. Yay! <laughs> I love astrology. I do too. So, oh my god, I'm so excited. Yay! So, what is your sign, and are you into that like compatibility mm-hmm. stuff? Like, tell us what your thoughts all about are. it. I'm all about it. It's been probably a year since I've kind of dived deep into it. And I don't uh-huh. even know everything. So, I am a Cancer Sun. Super emo. <laughs> um, and do you guys know like your moon and your rising? Yes. 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 It's, can you guess mine? You probably can't. What do you think my moon is? How I think I internally. I would say maybe, maybe a Pisces or a Libra. I feel like you're like a Leo rising. Oh my God, I wish. I'm a Taurus moon. Okay. I could, yeah. I'm a little bit stubborn. I don't really know much about Taurus. So. Okay, I'm Taurus getting one. Taurus is very like... Um, more like the gentle, loving. Okay. Kind of. They're very loyal. Okay. They're like strong suit is that they're pretty smart. They're good with money mm-hmm. and they're loyal, mm. which is good to have in a boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> um, and then good. my rising is a Virgo. Ooh, I'm a rising Virgo. Are you? And, yeah, like, look and at you, a Virgo like, moon. Like, oh, too. oh, no. <laughs> like a super intense And you're very perfectionist, like, but type my, A. Yeah, I'm very type A, but my son is a Pisces. So oh, yeah. Like so you total, have, like, a water sign in there. Yeah, it's, like, kind of, like, total opposite. So yeah. sometimes I'm, like, dreamer, creative, like, yep. very easygoing. Yep. And then other times I'm so very So you're intense. like me. So you have, like, your main sign, your sun sign is a water sign. Yeah. And then the other two are earth signs, yeah. right? So... Feel that? How about you? You guys are very grounded. Yeah. Are I'm you a fire, fire, air? <laughs> she's, she's very... What are you? So I'm a sun Sagittarius. Okay. And then I a... love Sagittarius. My my moon is a Leo. Oh no, really? Yeah. Oh, you're the so most I'm very outgoing. Like, Girl. Girl. Yeah. She's very attracted <laughs> someone. And then my rising is Gemini. Oh my god. So she's very attracted. Yeah, That's too. actually the worst. <laughs> Like, I wish I was you because that would give me, like, I think 10 times more confidence, you know what I mean? <laughs> but also, like, how do you date? Love, it. like, what's your boyfriend? I'm oh so God. sorry. Oh no, it's okay. Oh, so God. What's your boyfriend? He is a, um, sun sign is Libra. Okay. He's very good. Super very balanced. balanced. Yeah. And then I just recently found out he's a Scorpio moon. Ooh. And I'm just like, you booty bitch. Like, <laughs> I love that. I nice. forgot his rising. I think it was Aquarius. But you're Capricorn super independent, hey? Extremely. Yeah. Very independent. I'm very stubbornly independent. Yeah. I'm like, I don't need your help. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Wow, those are three very yeah. intense signs. So, yeah. so Sag, Leo, and Gemini. Gemini. Yes. Like the three most. <laughs> yeah, there's like, so out there. Like insane well there's no scorpio in any of us so yeah. we're good yeah that's crazy scorpio's the psychos <laughs> i have a I friend know. who has like literally scorpios in many houses really and oh. i'm just like <laughs> really yeah oh gosh yeah scorpios. i'm dating a taurus and it's good but we're both like that's apparently my most compatible sign because okay. he's like kind of a homebody like me we're both yeah, very loyal yeah. we're very nurturing so it totally works out that way but yeah. oh my gosh with my moon Taurus and he's a sun Taurus like we can be a little bit stubborn with each other as oh, you can tell. Okay, yeah. and then like his moon is a Gemini mm. and his rising is a Sagittarius and so oh, yeah so he's pretty outgoing too yeah then. he is so outgoing he's yeah. a lot more outgoing than me like ironically he works like a nine to five like office job and I'm the radio host but yeah. when we go to a party he's like the socialite <laughs> okay, okay and like I'm social but I'm not like queen socialite all the time yeah. like my energy can be kind of depleted after a while where I'm yeah. like I need my me time I can do like a few hours and then I'm in bed like you yeah, know yeah. I don't think I'm lame but like I'm pretty close <laughs> <laughs> pretty close so yeah 
Definite yeah. homebody. Oh, I'm so glad you guys like yeah. astrology. We love astrology. I feel like we just got into it, like, very yeah. recently. Yeah. And we're, like, super into it. We use, do you, do you know that app, CoStar? Yep, I mean, yep. <laughs> yep. I have it. Yep. It. Sarah's obsessed. It's so, so she good. Got into it. It's so good. I can send you guys some YouTube videos, yeah. too. Okay, yes, awesome. Yes, please. Yep. We're in. All send about away. It. Yep. <laughs> like, we truly want to know, like, girl, what's your sign? Yeah. Like, yeah. it's true, though. Yeah. I Everyone I meet, I'm like, Oh, <laughs> what's your birthday? What's your birth time? I <laughs> swear to God, everything. I'm like so good at guessing people's signs oh, yeah. too. That's like the part of being a cancer is you're very intuitive. Okay. And I swear to God, like I know people before they even yeah, tell me what yeah. they are. I'm like, you're totally a Libra. Or, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So what's your least favorite sign? Mine's Aquarius. I don't think no. I like am that well versed. In yeah, that. I don't think I can oh, yeah, yeah. say yet. My... You know what? I know I've always never liked Scorpios. Scorpios are That's a common one. Yeah, Scorpios are crazy, but I, like, one of my good friends is a Scorpio. Yep. But, but you're also a water sign, yeah. right? So. so I'm pretty, I feel like I can get along with a lot of the signs yep. because I'm a Pisces. My fiance is an Aquarius, actually. Is he? Yeah. But we, we butt heads a lot. Like, yeah. we're definitely very, very different yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. They say that Aquariuses are, like, it's it's fascinating because it's, like, Oprah Winfrey's an Aquarius. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. like, Ellen DeGeneres, like, super successful people. Yeah. Which, but then, they're also super, like, socially awkward sometimes. Yeah. And they say that, like, Aquariuses are, like, aliens with people suits on. <laughs> <laughs> but they're really that. they're really smart though, right? Yeah, and they're yeah. such lone wolves. But I don't really just I just don't really have that many in my circle. Mm. Like I've just noticed. Yeah, like it's, yeah. it's usually like yeah, Virgos or like Tauruses or a lot of Aries are in my life, mm. shockingly. And so maybe I would say I don't know. Maybe from what I know, I might say that my least favorite is Capricorn. Oh I yeah, I feel like they're a little bit too too safe. intense. Oh. Too like boring? risk adverse for me. Oh I yeah, feel yeah. Like. really? I feel like That's Capricorns are so like go getters. They are. Maybe I just don't know enough. Then. Well, but... it's totally fair. Capricorns yeah. don't really show a lot of emotion, mm-hmm. so sometimes they'll just seem really unbothered, or like they just don't emotionally react to things. They're yeah. very analytical, so mm-hmm. that can make them seem. I don't want to say bland, but mm-hmm. they're very. They're also very like type A yeah, in the sense yeah. that they're yeah. like my Capricorn friends are like. They, they're very social, but they're also the valedictorian, and they mm. got a lot of scholarships, and they're they're going to be teachers, or and yeah. they they can also beat themselves up a lot too because yeah. they're kind of perfectionists. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Well, I feel like we could go on and on. I know. I'm this. like, we yeah. just have it just as <laughs> we're going to have an offline. I know. Episode I know. Back. We're going to yeah. maybe. Yeah, maybe I should have an astrology podcast. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! I would, we would listen love to that. that. I, do I don't like think I know enough yet, or just but a like, I'm all about on it. it even. But it's like relationship <laughs> yeah. building and how yeah, you like, yeah. you know, gravitate to certain people and and why people are the way they are. That's yeah. why I like astrology. It's not yeah. so much about like the cosmos, but mm-hmm. more so about yeah, like yeah. how you like how your personality like yeah. blends with somebody else's and a few contrast. Yeah, I think it's cool. Obviously, you do it. too. Yes. Yeah, I love it. We love that. Love that. <laughs> so we do have our final segment. Okay. It is a round of this or that question. Nice. So we can fully judge you. <laughs> <laughs> we will judge. Join the club. We judge so hard. Okay. <laughs> Number one, champagne or rosé? Ooh. I think rosé because there's more occasions you can drink it. Okay. I do like champagne, though. Yeah. But I just don't find myself ever, like, grabbing champagne. Yeah, you yeah. go to a restaurant. I'll have a champagne. <laughs> yeah, it's usually rosé. Okay. Mm-hmm. Manicure or massage? Ooh. I'm going to say massage just because, like, it feels so good. Yeah, You yeah. know? And I haven't had a manicure in forever, and, like, I don't even want to look at my nails. Like, I hate them. Um... But I can live without a manicure, but massages. I just like as I get older, I need. Fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Singing or dancing? Singing, hundred percent. Hate dancing. Hate it. Why? Um, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I'm drunk and I'm with my girlfriends, I'm on the dance yeah. floor. <laughs> but I'm not good. And when I'm not drunk, even if I'm tipsy, I'm like. <laughs> Like, I am awkward. Yeah, I am yeah. so awkward, and I love singing. I think it's fun, so. Yeah. Yeah, singing. <laughs> Brunch or dinner? Oh, fuck. <laughs> that one was hard for me, too. I was yeah, like, ooh, I don't so know. hard. I miss brunch so much. Working on the weekends, like, you don't get to 
you don't get to have brunch as much. Yeah. And when you're off throughout the week, it's like, well, you know, just because you're up at 10 a.m. on a Tuesday doesn't mean someone serves you eggs, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, so you true. can always have dinner, but I have to say brunch because I like breakfast food the most. Yeah. Yeah. And you just, like, you feel a little bougie for, yeah. for a <laughs> totally hot minute, bougie. right? You feel like you have your life together, and you don't. Yeah. You have your right? eggs, Benny, and a mimosa. Yeah. yeah. I'm good. And you know you're basic, <laughs> but it just... It's so good. Yeah. So whatever. Whatever. My next one, neat or on the rocks? <laughs> Probably neither for me. <laughs> I don't drink a lot of hard alcohol. So neither. <laughs> That's fair. More Fine. like more like a bottle or can. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm really lame. Read minds or be able to teleport. <gasps> I feel like I am so sensitive that if I could read everybody's mind, like, I would be crying all the time. (laughs) But I do like to know the tea sometimes. And sometimes you just want to know what somebody's thinking. But because I already have a pretty good intuition, I'm going to say teleport. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Because flying is expensive. (laughs) It is. If I could do it for free, I would already be in Hawaii right now. So, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a good go choice. Yeah. I always yeah. go to that. I'm like, mm-hmm. I could teleport to anywhere. If I could be invisible and, like, eavesdrop here and there mm. or, like, go to the Met Gala. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? And, like, have experiences that I yeah. wouldn't really have. Like, I would do that. But I think reading minds, it's like you're just going to get hurt in the end. It's so what's much. the point? Yeah. Dressed up or dressed down? Dressed up always. Although I'm always dressed down, ironically. But that's just because I live in my sweatpants at the moment. But I, <laughs> I feel you. I'm one of those people, though, that like even if we're just going for like a really chill lunch, like I'm I'm overdressed. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd rather be prepared. And yeah. Overdressed yeah, I love and underdressed. Yeah. Yeah. Thomas Rhett or Luke Bryan? <laughs> Thomas Rhett. Yeah. <laughs> Thomas Rhett. I like Luke Bryan, but I I love Thomas Rhett. Me too. Good question. Thanks for throwing that in for me. I have, no, I, There's I, more. I have two There's more. more. I have two okay. more. And I will judge very hard. Oh, no. Eric Church or Blake Shelton? Eric Church. Oh, thank God. <laughs> we can be friends now. Like, I like Blake Shelton, but again, like, Eric Church, I just think he's one of the best. He's my life. Like, yeah. Oh, my God. Really? He is the, like, I love every single song. Like, Yeah, he's so great. People think I'm psych- psycho because my friends don't listen. They're like, who is this guy? And I'm like, it's I Eric love that Church. you love country. No, that's me. That's the best curveball I've been throwing today. <laughs> that is the best. And the final one. Carrie Underwood or Miranda Lambert? Hmm. I think I like Carrie Underwood better as a person. Mm -hmm. But I really love Miranda Lambert's music, so that's kind of hard. That's hard for me to choose. Uh, I don't know. Neither. (laughs) Neither. (laughs) Or both. (laughs) Yeah, I thought you were going to ask me, like, Maren Morris or Casey Musgraves, because I wouldn't be able to pick. That's tough. Those two are my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. I think for me, Maren Morris. Yeah. They're both so good. Like... Can't, can't pick. She's like edgier. Yeah, she's a bit more like rock country. Mm-hmm. And the other one's a bit more like, I don't even know how you would describe Casey Musgraves. Like, I don't know. She's her own more little thing right girly-ish? now. Girly-ish? I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know. Very experimental though. Love yeah. her album. Anyways, I could talk about that all day. <laughs> <laughs> so that is all. Really? Those are all those are oh my God, how did I do? That was awesome. <laughs> Yay! Thank you guys for having me on. That was so much fun. Yeah. And where can people find you online or social media? Twitter, I'm not even going to try because the username is so difficult. So maybe I'll just send it to them and they'll have font on the screen. Yeah, we'll, 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 the we'll put it right here. here. Yeah, we'll leave the uh, links. And Instagram is just Brooklyn on air, like Brooklyn, like the city in New York. Mm-hmm. And um, you can find me weekends on JR Country 93.7. That's probably it. Online or on air. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> thank, thank you so thank much. You. Oh, thank you. We'll Bye. see you. Thank you for listening, Glow Babes. Give us our five golden stars on iTunes and we'll be your best friends, I swear. And please share this episode with your babes that need some glow and will benefit from this. Thank you. Glow, glow.